Hey guys, what's going on? We got something really special for you today. This is the Sire, the all new Sire P10 and the all new Sire V5. Very interesting basses. I'm gonna talk about it a little bit later. We're gonna play them really quick just to hear how they sound. And then I'm gonna do some close-ups so you can see how they really look like. So this is me grabbing the bass at first sight. It's not, didn't come set up too well out of the box, a little bit of fret buzz and so forth, but nothing that can't be adjusted. This is in essence a vintage bass uh, with the vintage bridge and so forth, uh, about a passive jazz bass. And it feels and sounds like uh, a vintage bass jazz bass it's roasted hard maple for the fingerboard and the and the neck and it's got those rolled edges and passive passive electronics so so when you look at the back what's missing like on the p10 here you got that door and the active electronics access for the batteries the v5 doesn't have that but it sounds to me it sounds more like a Fender than Fender's recent releases, American Pro and uh, Elite, and maybe perhaps even Ultra. And here we have it, the all new Sire P10. I'm laughing because it's just such an awesome looking bass. Uh, this is probably even better than the V10. Um, so it's got the roasted flame, hard maple neck and fingerboard. It's got the new Marcus Miller Heritage 3P amp, uh, the rolled edge fretboard, the Avalone block inlay, premium open gear tuners and solid maple top and 5a flamed veneer um, it's got an asymmetrical c-shaped neck uh, in other words let's play it <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Guys, just a quick sound check straight out of the box. Was so curious, still need to set them up. For reference, they, those ran through an Eden amp. So um, uh, all set on neutral. Just so impressed how thick the tone is and no harsh highs and treble like some of the Fender basses. All the modern Fender basses sound so bright to me. Um, these roasted necks seem to really be doing a trick. Um, here are the knobs on the P10, they've been really improved. The, the tone control doesn't move when you do the volume and so forth. Uh, this <laughs> fingerboard is just awesome. You almost don't want to touch it. A luxury bass, hoo hoo. Um, yeah, Marcus Miller puts his name onto, onto those. But uh, let me play with those a little bit more. This was just a quick look so you can get an idea uh, of these new product releases. Massive beats out. Mm -hmm. 